morning. Uh, we are IX Seed. Um, my name is Karthik. Here with me is Rahul. Uh, we are here to present the Absalon digital banking platform and the Absalon suite of uh, omnichannel solutions. Uh, Absalon is uh, powering the digital transformation of over 50 banks globally, uh, including some of the largest banks in the world. According uh, to a recent uh, survey by F uh, FT, more than half the consumers and probably two-thirds of uh, corporate or business customers have two or more accounts across multiple banks. Um, with, with the coming PSD2 regulations and, and the open APIs, managing all these accounts are probably going to be a, a lot easier. The real challenge is how easy it is for the end customer uh, to do his day-to-day -day cash management. And particularly if you're a large business or if, if, if you're a corporate customer, uh, you, you, odds are you have uh, these accounts across countries and, and multiple currencies. Uh, we, are, we are super excited to present the Absalon Corporate Treasures app. So here I am, you know, uh, 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 let's say I'm the treasurer of a company called ABC Corp. And when I log in, I see all my assets and liabilities, all my investments, uh, whatever relationship I have with the bank. The app has all the post-app features. It's got an inbuilt chatbot, uh, intelligent, it'll let me do what I want to do, it'll predict what's coming up. Uh, we have plugins for things like social media banking, Twitter banking, and so on. Um, let's say now I want to actually look at my current accounts. I have, I have accounts in, in multiple countries across multiple currencies. These are obviously the latest balances. And what's important to note is each of these balances that you see is real time. It's actually going, pulling out the latest balance held in these banks. And I can actually drill down to the specific country. Let's say in France, I have euros sitting across three different banks. Uh, I can see all those balances. And I want to now manage my pounds with you know, so much going on. Let's say I want to look at all my GBP balances. Uh, now, with this uh, fictitious customer of ours, you know, I have some fictitious accounts. The banks are, of course, real. These are all real banks. Uh, these are all the accounts I have in GBP across multiple banks. And behind each of those uh, little icons there is the actual API that that bank is exposed, and we are going out and getting the latest balances. Uh, of course, I can see all the transactions in all these banks. Now let's say I want to manage my cash or liquidity positions better. I can go ahead and actually set up a liquidity structure. And let's say I want to roll all my money into Barclays. And I've got you know, funds sitting in City, in HSBC, in Lloyds. I can actually set up complex rules. Uh, you know, I can do a zero balance sweep. I can do a, a, a fixed amount you know, every day or every week. Uh, you can get as complex as you want in terms of foreign currency and so on. And uh, the, the corporate bankers in the, in, in the room would know, you know, something this complex would take, uh, you know, probably hours of work, complex screens. Uh, you know, we're giving that power to the client with a few swipes, he's able to set up the structure, and, you know, we've gone ahead and saved it. Now, what happens? Now that we've maintained this liquidity structure, what happens to the actual transaction? I can actually go and see the results of my sweeps rule that I've set up. You can actually see the current balance that is there right now. And when this sweep happens, either at the end of the day or the end of the month, and it's all how you control it, these are the new balances that's reflected. Uh, I, can, I can do a reverse sweep if you want. So all this, you know, very simple, elegant um, setup. So I already have these four accounts. And let's say, you know, I'm getting into a new country. I'm opening a new bank account. How easy is that to set that up and add it into, you know, my banking app? Uh, Rahul is uh, here. He'll, he'll talk about it in detail. Thank you, Karthik, and good morning, everybody. PSD2, Brexit, and internet security are the top three issues concerning everybody in this room today. Here is how Absalon and IXSeed solves that problem for you. Let me now show you how easy and simple it is to add an account on my mobile banking app. Easy addition of an account is one of the most differentiating features that we provide to everybody over here. For example, I want to add my Lloyds Bank account based out of Netherlands on my mobile banking app. A customer puts in his login ID and his user password along with his consent and moves on to other elements like the IBAN and the branch code. We can also time this, and you can check. It's less than a minute to add my particular mobile banking account on the account screen. Once I've added my account, you know there are features like multi-factor authentication that we support one-time password, biometrics, and also touch IDs. 
you must be noticing that this particular design is highly intuitive in nature. In this age of cybersecurity and internet crime, it is very important to support multi-factor authentication along with an open API. So now Karthik is entering the six-digit ODP, and we'll see that how easy it is to add our particular bank account into the mobile banking app. Now noticing this particular mobile banking account of my Lloyd's Bank onto my mobile screen is right here. I can use this particular account to manage my sweeps, to activate loans, make transfers, do multiple other things. This is the way we are getting one step closer towards PhD2 compliance. Now I would like to invite Karthik on stage to summarize our presentation. Thanks, Rahul. One thing you might have noticed is we didn't have to go plug in the actual API or the endpoint or the URL. We didn't have to write a line of code. We let the client go ahead and do it. The platform took care of all that API management behind the scenes. Uh, so in summary, we saw two things. One is a complex transaction, like, like a, a setting up a cash management structure. We could do it in a very simple and elegant way. And more importantly, you give that power to the client and let him manage his own money better. So, so banks, are you ready to take fintech companies at their own game, leverage APIs, and serve your clients better? Uh, we're right outside. We'd be happy to sh share some of the other cool stuff that we're doing uh, with some of the other large banks. And, uh, of course, we'd love to have uh, your consideration for Best of Show. Thanks. <laughs>